Wow, that was a pretty big list of folks. You guys ready? I feel like we need a drum roll. <laughs> oh, who's gonna win? Retro bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bass. Well, happy Saturday, Merry Christmas, and welcome to Retro Bassin. Well, here we are just hanging out in the studio in my sportsman's flotation jacket, and I figured why not ring in the holiday with one of my favorite pastimes, and that is going through some old catalogs with you, the Bassin Buds. Well, today on Retro Bassin, we do have a special Christmas edition of this magazine walkthrough, and we're gonna be looking at this, the 1988 Christmas catalog. It is hard to believe that Christmas 1988 was 31 years ago. But we'll take a dive into this old catalog and I've got a feeling a few things on the list of Santa probably haven't changed much. But first I think I've got to get out of my sportsman's flotation jacket. I can't put my arms down. <laughs> it's really hot. Oh my God. I don't know how you could cast in this thing. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it makes sense why some things were discontinued. So here's the catalog in question. This is a goodie, by the way. We recently did the old Cabela's Christmas catalog, and that one was filled up with mostly clothes, and I think that catalog kind of was. This one is definitely a mix of, certainly there's some apparel in here, but there's a lot of old timey 1980s fishing gear. Woo! Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, and by the way, if this is your first time here at Retro Bassin and you like to fish it old school, we're talking about classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment from fishing days gone past. Well, stick around, consider subscribing, and be sure to hit that bell icon. Otherwise, you won't know we post a new video like this one. Oh, and in addition to this little catalog walkthrough, we are going to announce the winner of the Retro Bassin Vintage Tackle Box giveaway at the end of this video. Well, hopefully we make Christmas very bright for one lucky Bassin bud. But first, let's get into this guy. All right, well, here she is, the 1988 Bass Pro Shops Christmas catalog. It even comes with an incredible holiday offer. Place a 125 order by November 15th, and you may purchase a $20 Bass Pro gift card for just 99 cents. Somehow, I don't think that offer still applies today. So what do we have on the cover here? First off, we've got, uh, there's the old man himself, Mr. Santa Claus, hanging out. Um, probably looking at Uncle Buck's uh, Christmas calendar. <laughs> And we've got some old school goodies down here. Man, I cannot wait to crack this thing. It has been a few years since I've looked at this magazine. All right, so we've got a really nice uh, spread on the old tracker. There's a very young looking Johnny Morris. It says, something big just happened at Tracker Marine. Okay. Probably going to see some pretty sweet 1980s Tracker boats. And yeah, buddy. Look at this thing. Okay, the Tracker PF16 1989 model. Right out of the gates, this boat looks super familiar to me, and now I know why. Endorsed by the Bass Professor himself, Mr. Doug Hannon. Uh, that is pretty cool. And I remember uh, pretty much every picture of Doug Hannon. He is in a boat like this. Maybe not this exact model, but he loved a little 16-foot aluminum boat. And he would always sit very low in that boat. Notice how low that is. Unlike a lot of bass boats where even like the modern day tracker like mine, you're pretty much up on this deck. Doug liked to sit low. And I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that he was trying to hide from those wily Florida bass. 
Well, this is a pretty sweet package you can get. That's a teeny tiny motor, though. I'm not sure what horsepower that sucker is. Uh, looks like a 40 on there. But for $43.95 out the door. That ain't a bad deal, huh? <laughs> okay, so here is the Pro 17. And for those who've seen the old uh, Bassin Retro Wagon, uh, this looks pretty familiar. This is basically almost the same blueprint of that Tracker Heritage model or even the modern day classic. 17 foot, you can see it's got that uh, raised deck here. Definitely falls off the back. And you've got your uh, raised bass boat seats right there. Really nice all said and done. Not a lot of differences from even 1988 or 89 to today. This one out the door for $53.95. So this is the old Tracker XL, and you can see just a lot more deck space there. A lot less of this little uh, sort of uh, hidey hole, but I kind of like that area, though, because that's kind of where my kiddo's hanging out and we go fishing a lot. But this is nice if you don't want to fall off that bucket seat into the, uh, the abyss of your deck. There's the old 17 for $63.95. Man, they were heavy on the boats this year, aren't they? We got the old Deep V16, $48.95. It's got the old troll motor on the back. You don't see that too often anymore. Oh, the old Deep V17 looks like the old Outlander special, doesn't it? $72.95. And there's the old 18. So this is a little more of the actual you know, sort of pro-looking boat. Almost looks like the old Nitro in a little way, doesn't it? It's kind of a, got that fiberglass look to it. It still says Bass Tracker. I don't actually recall the Bass Trackers that weren't aluminum. That's interesting. Huh. Very cool. And the Magna 17. Looks like a sort of a fish in ski. Ah, oh, there we go. The old classic Sun Tracker Bass Buggy. What an awesome boat that thing was. You could have a good old time on Lake Travis in one of those for uh, $42.95. Oh, and there you are with the old sun deck. Yep. No models in this one, but this is the old Party Hut DL. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to own a boat that says Party Hut. You wouldn't even have to name it at that point. You just could call it the Party Hut. All right. Pretty cool spread of the old tracker boats. Now we're getting into some other gear here. Oh, look at this. Um... <laughs> Pretty good spread of some nice tracker apparel. Looks like a rayon jacket or two. Um, boy, I wish I could get some of these hats for $1.99 because I spent a little bit more on the old eBay to get those these days. <laughs> that is pretty cool. A two-page spread for all of your tracker branded apparel. Love it. All right, so we've got some uh, Insta boats. Oh, come on. <laughs> there is 0, 0.0 chance this dude is standing up to fish in this inflatable kid raft. <laughs> but, again, good try. Um, here we've got a bass and babe in the old tracking tube. That's pretty sweet. And, yeah, here are some good old life jackets. <laughs> so this is the one that I had on at the front of the video. So this is the Sportsman's Flotation Jacket. And i got to tell you, this thing... <laughs> I can't imagine even making a single cast in it, much less wearing it for a day of fishing. I mean, uh, one thing's for sure, you wouldn't drown, but I don't know what good comes of it. <laughs> Ooh, I like that one, though. The white. Slick. Oh, here we go. Now we are getting into some good old-timey reels here. What do we have over here? We've got some nice ambassador reels. Oh, man. The old uh, 521 XLT. Oh, look at this. I loved this little system from Quantum. They actually had three reels that came out. I don't know if it was the exact same time, but it was pretty darn close. And they were specific for different techniques. You've got this one, which is, I think that's the uh, cranking reel. You've got the flipping reel and then the pitching reel or the ripping reel. That's it, the ripping reel. So three different reels. Obviously, mostly it's the gear ratio that changes, but a really cool lineup they had back in the day. Got a nice classic uh, Abu Garcia, the 6500C. I've got one of those rigged up for Florida. And, oh, one of my favorite reels ever, the old uh, Bantam Speedmaster. And also the uh, Speedmaster high speed at a low price. Interesting. 
Some more Shimano reels here. Ooh, nice Daiwa Mag Force, and of course a little Ryobi. It's kind of weird, but before they were just making drills at Home Depot, they made a lot of reels. So we got some good looking spinning reels here, really in the era of all the graphite reels that were out there. We've got the Abu Cardinals, some nice Shimano's, Quantum. Ooh, a nice Daiwa Procaster with the old long cast spool. Remember that? That was a goodie. And there we've got your Zebco 33 for uh, the old Retro Bass and theme song. <laughs> the old classic. That it was. That it was. I always loved the combos that they used to sell. That was something cool about being able to get the rod and the reel that was like perfectly matched so you didn't have to think about it at all. So this is a nice one. Looks like a Daiwa and a, looks like a Bass Pro branded rod, which by the way, are like my favorite rods anyway. And here's another one, the old Lady Light. Woohoo, a Procaster. Graphite combo. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I'd probably fish it, but not if the name's Lady Light, so, you know. <laughs> Some more combos, a little bit of saltwater stuff from Penn, fly fishing combos from uh, Martin. Nice. All right, so we are in, back into some pretty sweet reels here. So I love these old ambassadors, by the way. Just, there is just something to me so iconic about that round ambassador. I just love it. I don't have any in the green or red, but that's a good looking reel, isn't it? And there have got a nice Bantam Pro Mag. I've got that exact reel, and that thing is a honey of a reel. So who are the pros they've got down here? So we've got old Jack Emmett, tournament fisherman. Don't remember him. Old Tommy Martin, of course, the old uh, two-time world champion. Stacy King. we got uh, Chet DeWitt, the professional guide and tourney fisherman. Old Basil Bacon. Uh, that's like the third greatest name in bass fishing, isn't it? So he's a professional tournament fisherman, and, of course, Charlie Campbell, uh, Mr. Zara Spook himself. Oh, and there's the first Bionic Blade uh, bait casting rods. I love the old Bionic Blade. And those are some old school cork handles. All right, so we got some really nice Bass Pro rods here. We got the old Power Stick, the Spiral Graphite, the Pro Comp 2, the old Lady Light, and the Mean Green Stick. Woo! That does look mean green, doesn't it? Yeah, it's funny, but with all the rods out there, I'm still a fan of the old Bass Pro rods. I think it's because I'm so klutzy. I tend to break a rod or two, and with these prices, I really don't worry too much about them. Of course, if I had old Mean Green, I'd, I'd worry a lot about that because those are probably a little tough to replace. We've got some Ocean Gear here. Oh, plenty of fishing line for you. Soft-sided kits. You know, you don't see a lot of soft-sided worm kits anymore, but I think back in the day, the thing was to get those worms out of the original packages as quickly as you could and get them in something else. I don't know why, but now it seems like everyone comes with a Ziploc bag and you just kind of keep them in that. Ooh, some good old classic tackle boxes. Uh, like this one, the old plastic 4500 uh, UPB. It looks like the old Umco version. The best part about this thing is it's got a cooler in the bottom. <laughs> I've got this box empty. It weighs about 28 pounds. So with lures, whew. Nice classic Plano uh, 1152 Magnum. That's a good uh, double-sided tackle box. Oh, and there are some classics. Of course, the old 757 and 787. Love both those boxes. Here's one of my favorite parts about these old catalogs, the kits they had around Christmas time. So there we've got the lower designer extraordinaire shoestring de bois with his tornado kit. Doesn't actually have, oh, it does have a picture of the tornadoes. There they are, it's on the other side. So you get three tornadoes and a pair of glasses and looks like some uh, triple ripple grubs for 1992. Yeah, you couldn't get a, a tornado without a skirt on it from 1992 these days. Pretty interesting here. So this is a discontinued line of baits. The old Highback Shiner. I think this was a Bass Pro exclusive. And I don't know what the story was with this. It's a terrific new woodland lure. I buy these assorted size rat tail in Highback Shiners. 
and get a topwater spinning shiner for free. $13.99 though for four of those lures. Um, yeah, I'll take it. Oh, and I loved it. So the Bass Pro, they also had their own Bass Pro worm kits, which came in a special worm box. Worm proof box, of course. And we've got the Squirman Worm, which is sort of like their version of the Phenom. And the old Sidewander was sort of their uh, their culprit worm. Oh, some other nice kits here. The old tender tube kit for the old uh, smallmouth fisherman. Looks like that's uh, another kit here. Looks like a panfish kit. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Look at this. The all-out pumpkin kit from Mans. Uh, the hottest new color we've ever handled. Huh. So wait a minute. <laughs> it all started in the south and is spreading like wildfire throughout the country. Have you got that bait in pumpkin seed? <laughs> Demand for this new color is truly astonishing. It is by far the hottest new color we have ever experienced. Okay, that is hilarious that in 1988, this was a new color. <laughs> okay, over here we've got Bill Dance. It says, don't start the new season without these great new baits and trailers. Pretty sweet Tennessee Diamond Blade Spinnerbait Kit from Strike King. Woo! Look at those old school Diamond Blades. Man. Got a nice uh, deep uh, VR kit from Rebel and also the old G-Finish bots. Oh, man. Nice old baits. I love those colors, by the way. Those are definitely discontinued colors and some of my favorite rattle spot colors. The old G-Finish blue and black shad. Man, this thing is all about kits, and that's what was so cool about it back in the day is, you know, Christmas morning come along, and you could be opening up uh, just a brand new kit with, you know, maybe 10 or more lures in it. So we've got a head and wooden kit. Ooh, wow, that's really nice. Imagine that. So the old Dying Flutter looks like Zara Spook and a Zara Puppy all in wood. Woo. Got a nice electric rattle trap uh, shad kit. Oh, um, some of those colors you can get. Some of those, like that guy, you cannot. Nice ultralight bonanza kit from Rebel. And, oh, yeah, look at that. The old late Lonnie Stanley pumpkin seed kit. Oh, man, that new color pumpkin seed was just pff, <laughs> on fire in 1988. Love that. Man, in case you weren't uh, kitted out, We've got the old tub of grubs. <laughs> Ooh, Ditto's Widow Jig Pack. Huh. I'd jump on that, man. Uh, a Zeta Bait uh, Big Bass Kit. Rattle Trap Classic Kit. And then the old Uncle Josh Soft Crawl Pack. Man, look at that. 1788. That's pretty awesome. So here we've got a full spread on the old Tornado. Man, that was just a hot bait back in the day. Even had a VHS on how to fish it, which I wish I had. I don't. Um, maybe one day old Johnny will come back out of that thing. I, I'm hoping he does. And here we are with the old highback shiner after nearly two years of development. And I don't know how long that lasted, but I don't think it made it that long. <laughs> maybe not much longer than two years. Ooh, a nice two-page spread of some old school gold here. Remember this one, the old weedless we are. This one's pretty wild. It's a crankbait that's got a single hook on it and a weed guard. Wild. The old Bagley's ET. <laughs> Out of this world action. And yeah, this is one I know well. The old Mama Cat. And it's a sister bait, the old Fat Cat, which is a little bit of a smaller version of this one. And then the old classic Man's One Minus. Nice. Oh, didn't know Bagley had a buzz bait. That's pretty cool. The old buzz fuster. So we got the old Denny Bauer rattleback jig. Still available by Lunk Allure. Um, doesn't come in the living rubber like it did back in the day. And, you know, it's funny, but these days we're trying to find pork rind. I know that Uncle Josh just came back out with uh, the number 11 model. But back in the day, everybody was kind of getting on the pork wagon, including Berkeley with the strike rind. I don't have any of these, but it looks pretty darn similar to the old Uncle Josh, doesn't it? Some nice ice fishing gear for all the bass and buds up in uh, the northern part of the country in Canada. Pretty sweet. Uh, 
Ah, some more lure kits. Rattle trap kits galore. The old color selector kit. Nice. And there's the old color selector for $28.88, endorsed by old Bill Dance. Never actually seen him use the color selector, but there he is. <laughs> What do we have here? Any any fun stuff? You know, it's funny. A lot of this gear hasn't changed a ton. I think I've got that same old rod rack, <laughs> the old rod straps. Some of this isn't too new. This is interesting, though. The old Dr. Juice Torny Bass Spray, but it's got this special hook. So you get to hang your lure on it, and it doesn't get, I guess, you don't spray your hand. That's pretty funny. Some more bass in gear. Lure Hound, by the way, I just picked up one of those so I don't lose any more of my vintage baits on the bottom of any Texas lakes. Babe Winkleman, just because I like to say his name. Ah, the old videos too. I got to tell you, I, I think I own just about every one of these videos and books at one point or another. Ah, the old joke gifts. This is, a <laughs> this is always a good section. <laughs> So everyone's seen the old jackalope. I don't remember the hog, but it's a largemouth bass with a hog nose on it. We've got the head and big bud, which, by the way, you can't get those for five eighty eight these days. We've got the big John, a bait that's been censored, so that's good. We've got the old shag quack, which is probably one of the greatest novelty lures of all time. The fish call, it's a whistle, the crappy lure. That's also called the floater these days. It's uh, supposed to resemble a... Uh, I don't know, like a chocolate bar and a pool. <laughs> and then a switch for lights in case uh, you need to switch out any lights at your house and also get divorced in the process. Some nice bass and gear for your car. If I had a tire on the back of mine, I'd get that. That's pretty sweet. Old time sunglasses. This was the one, though. This is like every year for about 10 years, this was out. One version or another of this bad Oscar of a pair of old school sunglasses. Not quite Ray-Bans, but not too bad. <laughs> uh, the old Uncle Buck's Bassmate calendar. Yeah, this uh, humorous adult gift Featuring a bass mate of the month uh, every month. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I got to tell you, of all the things that they've sold in this catalog, that has to be um, one of the funniest. And, oof, <laughs> I've got one too. Oh, just not good. Ooh, some uh, hand-painted fish ashtrays. Those are always nice for the lodge. Sweet. And a chocolate bass. And cheese bass. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, yeah, Bass and Buds, if you guys ever have one of these phones you want to send it to me, uh, my P.O. box is, is in the description. So send it away, and I will start answering calls on that. The old deluxe wall-mounted fish telephone. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, so we've got some good old stuff. By the way, we just took the kids to see the old uh, Cabela Santa, and I think a lot of these same animals are still there. All right, so now we're getting into some of the apparel, and I've got a feeling they had some pretty sweet apparel in 1988. So there's a nice uh, Omega System rain jacket, and there's a rain warrior by, uh, nope, that's not Scott Martin. That's his pop, uh, Pops, old Roland Martin. Really nice. <laughs> All right. So if standing up and fishing in that one raft wasn't challenging enough, look at this. This looks like some sort of Lojo fishing challenge. It is a belly boat <laughs> from Bass Tracker. I don't know. I've got a hard enough time throwing a bait caster from the front of my boat. I can't imagine being a water level and trying to cast. Um It'd be a nightmare. Ah, uh, some nice winter boots. And ooh, look at those. The old moon boots. <laughs> I guess like the Napoleon Dynamite one right there, isn't it? 
All right, so we are getting into rayon jacket territory, and hey, Bass and Buzz, you recognize this jacket? Yeah, this is the classic embroidered satin coach's jacket, which pretty much every one of my local buddies has. <laughs> These things are just glorious and awful to wear because they don't breathe at all. But a honey of a jacket. I have the blue. That's kind of the one that was easier to get. The black, though, whew, it's pretty slick too, isn't it? <laughs> New for the season, bass on black. Yeah, buddy. Ah, uh, here we go. Some uh, nice, good-looking thermal underwear. Always like to see families sitting around the uh, having coffee in their underwear. That's fun. <laughs> You know, if I ever hang out with my Bass and Buds in this outfit, um, you know, <laughs> come on. Ooh, some good looking hats there. Uh, what is this? A nice Bass Tracker hat. Ooh, the old green and yellow. And then we have the, uh, the Mamouflage. So that's fun. That looks like the guy that should be wearing that hat. Uh, so this is a, a nice honey of a fishing suit, the old one piece, one of my favorite things to wear, either fishing or um, to the grocery store. And these are nice. I think he's like the old Roland Martin model. It doesn't have his name on it, but I remember these were his glasses. It's like the old Pro View. It's got that old school look to it. All right, skipping ahead a little bit here to the old trolling motor section. Woo, look at these. So no spot lock available in 1988. But here we've got some nice Minn Kota, the quiet one. Uh, what are these? Let's see how many horsepower these suckers have. Oh, up to 28 pounds of thrust. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. up to 36 pounds of thrust. Okay. And up to 41 pounds of thrust because Bass and Buds, who needs more than 41 pounds of thrust? Uh, I guess in 1988 you didn't. <laughs> these days, if you have that, I think you consider your troll motor broken. Oh, and here we've got some nice state-of-the-art electronics. So we've got the old Eagle unit here, the Z7200. Oh, this one, the old Fish ID Plus. Look at that graphic, Bass and Buds. <laughs> Who needs, like, the live scope? Look at that. You can just clearly see the fish and the tail. That's all you need. There's the old Tom Man Super 60, which I think is the same one we have on the old retro wagon. And to wrap it up, yeah, we've got uh, yet another hummingbird here. What is this? The uh, TCR ID1, the easiest way to positively identify fish in red for $319.88. Okay, it is just about giveaway time. And if you didn't happen to catch the video, I will link it in the comments and description down below. But it was a blast of putting this special box together. And I'll show you right now, it is all boxed up and pretty much ready to go. Uh, the only addition, by the way, and I'll show this, was a package we just received from our Bass and Buds, John and Lindia, over at Small Water Charters. And they were gonna throw in, I think, some bruiser baits in addition to the different retro baits that we had in there. So I will rip this sucker open and see. There might be some stuff for me to keep in here. There uh, is definitely some bruiser baits to add to the old Bass and Bud box. It says, good job, Chris. <laughs> Ooh, sounds rattly. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, so these were some baits that actually I had left on their boat and uh, I'm going to be repacking these because we're heading back to Florida in oh, like about a week. And yeah, I'm definitely going to be throwing the old Doug Hannon snake on headwaters. All right, we've got a small water charters decal. And let's check out what brews or baits we're going to add to the old mix. Oh, nice. Okay. So this is uh, their sponsor over small water charters. So here is a six inch... A uh, big stick that's going to go in the box. Nice, looks like it a uh, sort of a watermelon red pattern, I think. And also this, ooh, man, I kind of hate to send this. 
Uh, a Super Shad five count galactic brim. Oh, son, that's a good looking color. But a giveaway is a giveaway, and these two are gonna go in the old Bass and Bud kit. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get to our random comment selector. I've gotta to go to the YouTube video URL. Let's check this out. Okay, so there is the old giveaway video that we did a little while back. I'm gonna click on it. So we're getting the comments, I think. Did we do it? Yes, amount of comments unique, 303. Wow, that was a pretty big list of folks. You guys ready? I feel like we need a drum roll. <laughs> Oh, who's going to win? Who is it? The winner of the Retro Tackle Box giveaway is Rich Pierce. And Rich wrote, love your channel. It's quickly becoming my favorite. Love uh, to see all this stuff when I was a kid fishing with my dad. Keep it up. Well, sir, congratulations and Merry Christmas to you. Hit me up either on Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Get me your address and we will get that Tackle Box goodies right out to you. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like we've got to do that more often, huh? What do you think? All right, Bastard Buds. Well, thank you for hopping along this little walkthrough of the 1988 Christmas catalog. We will see you next Saturday on New Year's Day, and we have a very special, very special video planned. Recently, I discovered, uh, with the help of Bass and Bud Ira, perhaps the greatest yard sale I've ever seen. And it is loaded with old school tackle boxes, lures, rods, and reels. Until then, Bass and Buds, Merry Christmas, keep the carpet side up, and definitely Fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bass.